At this point, we have our app working and our next step is to add some styling. And once we have the styling uh, added to the app, we are going to deploy it. And uh, deploying to Heroku is actually easy and seamless. It, it worked great. <laughs> so first time I've ever deployed something where there hasn't been an issue. So I think, uh, I think this is going to work well for everyone. Uh, as far as styling goes, uh, we are going to use Bootstrap 4. Uh, there is uh, a way to integrate it into Django, uh, but all of the concepts that we are going to be learning, you can apply to regular web pages as well. Uh, so for those of you that are not familiar with Bootstrap 4, um, it's a CSS framework and it uses classes to apply styling to your web pages. So you basically need to pull in the Bootstrap libraries in a normal web page, and then you add the classes to your different tags and it'll apply the styling. Uh, and there's a lot of advantages to using Bootstrap. Uh, it's responsive, uh, it's mobile first, and it is compatible with all of the different web browsers. So you don't have to worry about compatibility issues. Uh, in a normal web page, you would add the libraries between the opening and closing head tags. Uh, so how that would look uh, would be something like this. Uh, so you'd have your care set uh, in a meta tag. You'd add a meta tag for the viewport, which makes it mobile. And then you would pull in the bootstrap CDN. And then you would also pull in the jQuery library and uh, Popper JS uh, because Bootstrap uses both for some of the styling and navigation menus that it creates. Uh, and so that's pretty much uh, what you would include. And then after you pull in those libraries, it's just a matter of applying the classes to your different elements. Now, how do we get this into Django? Uh, for Django, there is an app for Bootstrap that we can actually add into our virtual environment. So that is how we are going to be pulling it into our Django app. And so it's just a matter of navigating uh, through the command prompt to your directory, uh, activating your virtual environment, and then entering the command that will install Django Bootstrap. Once it is successfully installed, then you do need to edit your settings file and add a little section for third-party apps, and that is where Bootstrap 4 would go. Uh, once you have that done, then uh, for our base template, the one uh, that everything is being pulled into, <laughs> um, that is where we would load Bootstrap 4. Okay, and this is how we do it. And then in uh, the head section, you can see that we're loading the Bootstrap CSS. Uh, we've got another little command to basically load up the jQuery library, which would include the Popper JS. And then we would be good to go. So we are going to go ahead and kind of walk through this. 
And I'm going to launch my command prompt. And of course, it's in the other window. <laughs> uh, so I've got to navigate to my learning log directory. So I'm going to change directories, and that is under documents, CIT228, and learning log. And I need to activate my virtual environment. So I'm going to go into my learning log environment directory, go into scripts, and then key in activate. And then I'll Kind of back up a couple levels here. And from this point, I'm, I've got my active uh, virtual environment. I'm in the correct directory. And I'm going to give that command to install the Django Bootstrap. And let's see. Yep, I've already reinstalled this once. <laughs> so it's saying that it's already installed, but you will see a progress bar when you guys do it. Um, so I am going to go ahead and run my app, but I'm going to keep this window open so that I can uh, do some other kind of installs as we're going through the process. So I'm going to right click and open a new command prompt. And I'm gonna navigate over. And we'll activate this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the server. OK. And I'll probably open this in a separate window. Alrighty, so there it is. Not very pretty yet, but we will be fixing that. Okay, so I've installed. Um, I'm pretty much good to go. And the only thing I haven't done is I still need to add it to my settings. So I need to launch VS Code. And I go to open a little different folder here. Here it is. And you can see I've got learning logs here. Let me expand this. And I'm looking for settings. And then in my settings file, I need to look for installed apps. Ah, and I can see it right there. And so I can see where I've got the learning logs and users, and I can see my system apps. Mm 
And so right below there. We'll just give this a little comment of third party apps and we will add bootstrap. And I'm going to save those changes. And then we're going to move on to our next segment. <laughs> 